Chapter 27 Judas Hangs Himself Early in the morning, all the chief priests and the elders of the people came to the decision to put Jesus to death. They bound him, led him away, handed him over to Pilate, the governor. When Judas, who had betrayed him, saw that Jesus was condemned, he was seized with remorse and returned the thirty silver coins to the chief priests and the elders. I have sinned, he said, for I have betrayed innocent blood. What is that to us, they replied. That's your responsibility. So Jesus, Judas threw the money into the temple and left. Then he went away and hanged himself. The chief priest picked up the coins and said, It is against the law to put this into the treasury, since it is blood money. So they decided to use the money to buy the potter's field as a burial place for the foreigners. This is what, why it has been called the field of blood to this day. Then what was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet was fulfilled. They took the thirty silver coins, the price set on him by the people of Israel, and they used them to buy the potter field, as the Lord commanded me. Jesus before Pilate. Meanwhile, Jesus stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Yes, it is as you say, Jesus replied. When he was accused by the chief priests and the elders, he gave no answer. Then Pilate asked him, Don't you hear how many things they are accusing you of? But Jesus made no reply, not even to a single charge, to the great amazement of the governor. Now it was the governor's custom at the feast to release a prisoner chosen by the crowd. At that time they had a no notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when the crowd had gathered, Pilate asked them, <clears throat> Which one do you want to release to, Barabbas or Jesus, who is called Christ? For he knew it was out of envy that they had handed Jesus over to him. While Pilate was sitting on the judge's seat, his wife sent him a message, Don't have anything to do with that innocent man, for I have suffered a great deal today in a dream because of him. But the chief priests and the elders persuaded the crowd to ask for Barabbas and to have Jesus executed. Which of the two do you want me to release today? <clears throat> asked the governor. Barabbas, they answered. What shall I do with the Jesus who is called Christ? Pilate asked. They all answered, Crucify him. Why? What crime has he committed? asked Pilate. But they all shouted in louder, Crucify him. When Pilate saw that he was getting nowhere, but they insisted on upward starting, he took water and washed his hands in front of the crowd. I am innocent of this man's blood, he said. It is your responsibility. All the people answered, let his, be blood, let his blood be on us and on our children. Then he released Barabbas to them. <clears throat> but he had Jesus flogged and handed them over to be crucified. Hmm. The soldiers marked, mocked Jesus. Then the governor's soldiers took Jesus into the Perinthium and gathered the whole company of soldiers around him. They stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him. And then wove a crown of thorns and set it on his head. They put a staff in his right hand and knelt in front of him and mocked him. Hail, king of the Jews, they said. They spit on him and took the staff and struck him on the head again and again. After they had mocked him, they took off the robe and put on his own clothes on him. Put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. The crucifixion. As they were going out, they met a man from Cyrene <clears throat> named Simon, and they forced him to carry the cross. They came to a place called Golgothi, which means the place of the skull. There they offered him wine to drink, mixed with gall, but after tasting it, he refused to drink it. When they had crucified him, they divided up his clothes by casting lots, and sitting down, they kept watch over, over him there. Above his head they placed the written charge against him, This is Jesus, King of the Jews. Two robbers were crucified with him, one on, on his right and one on his, on his left. Those who passed by hurled insults at him, shaking their heads and saying, you, who are going to destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. Come down from the cross if you are the Son of God. In the same way the chief priests, the teachers of the law, and the elders mocked him, he saved others, they said. But he can't save himself. He saved others, they said, but he can't save himself. He's the King of Israel. Let him come down now from that cross, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God rescue him now if he wants him. For he said, I am the Son of God. <clears throat> In the same way, the robbers who were crucified with him also heaped insults on him. The death of Jesus. From the sixth hour until the ninth hour, darkness came over all the land. About the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Hello, 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 lama sabbathi, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of those standing there heard this, they said, He's calling Elijah. 
Immediately one of them ran and got a sponge. She filled it with wine vinegar, put it on a stick, and offered it to Jesus to drink. But the rest said, Leave him alone. Let's see if Elijah comes, comes to save him. And when Jesus had cried out again in a loud voice, he gave up his spirit. At that moment the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook and the rocks split. The tombs broke open and the bodies of many holy people who had died were raised to life. They came out of the tombs, and after Jesus' resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many people. When the centurion and those with him who were guarding Jesus saw the earthquake and all that had happened, they were terrified and exclaimed, Surely he was the Son of God. Many women were there, watching from a distance. They had followed Jesus from Galilee to care for his needs. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Joseph, and the mother of Zebedee's sons, the burial of Jesus. As evening approached, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who had, going, who had himself become a disciple of Jesus. Going to Pilate, he asked for Jesus' body, and Pilate ordered that it be given to him. Joseph took the body, wrapped it in a clean linen cloth, and placed it in his own new tomb that he had cut out of the rock. He rolled a big stone in front of the entrance to the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the others Mary was sitting there across from the tomb. The guard of the tomb. The next day, the one after preparation day, the chief priests and the Pharisees went to Pilate. Sir, they said, we remember that while he was still alive, the deceiver said, after three days I will rise again. So give the orders for the tomb to be made secure until the third day. Otherwise his disciples may come and steal the body and tell the people that he has been raised from the dead. This last deception will be worse than the first. Take a guard, Pilate answered. Go, make the tomb as secure as you know. So they went and made the tomb secure by putting a seal on the stone and posing, posting the guard. That was the uh, book of Matthew, chapter 27. Uh, there's one more book in this gospel, I mean one more chapter in this gospel, and it's coming up next. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Subscribe and like. Subscribe and like.